welcome you all welcome to this uh, lecture on register storage class in the last video we discussed about automatic storage class and uh, in this video we will gain knowledge about register storage class so in the last video we said that there are four storage classes what are those four storage classes automatic storage class register storage class then static storage class and external storage class so in this video we'll discuss about register storage class in previous video we discussed about automatic storage class and uh, we'll see register storage class in this video so before we discuss about register storage class So let us write a program using a variable. Okay. So I open online C compiler here. Your browser open online C compiler. Okay. So this is your online C compiler. The advantage is no need to install any software here okay so you can use this compiler for execution of your c programs right so this comments everything i'll remove here okay so include the header file already it is there okay so main function already defined here beginning okay so there is a printf called hello world okay we don't want this printf statement okay so i remove this printf statement what i do is I declare a variable here okay so int something like x is equal to 50 okay then I print this variable here so printf x is equals to percentage d new line double quotes close comma x and this with the semicolon okay so then can say return zero close now I execute, I run this program and see if I run this program, it executed successfully and I printed x is equal to 15. So in the last uh, video, we said that any variable declaration should be beginning with uh, a storage class. So here, without any storage class, I declared this variable. Still my program executed successfully and uh, printed the value of this uh, variable. So what is happening here? That means what is the storage class of uh, this variable? Can we say that uh, there is no storage class? No. So variable declaration must uh, contain the first one, a storage class. Okay, so there is an implicit storage class uh, present here. Okay, so what is that implicit storage class? That implicit storage class is nothing but our auto storage class. Okay, so auto storage class is the implicit storage class. That means if we don't declare if we don't declare storage class for a variable then the compiler assumes the storage class of that variable to be auto storage class. Okay, so by default, this storage class is available to the variable here. Okay, so that's why your program executed successfully here. Okay, so when the compiler, after compilation, this definition, this looks like this. Okay, so it looks like this auto int x is equal to 15. Okay, but this is after compilation. As a programmer, we write just int x is equal to 15. Okay, so compiler assumes the implicit storage class as auto storage class. So 
sometimes the question may be asked in interviews what is the default storage class of a variable so you can answer the default storage class of a variable is auto storage class automatic storage class or auto storage class understood right now we move on to the next storage class register storage class so when we declare a variable storage class as register storage class what are the features defined by the compiler okay so we said four features uh, are known for a variable when we declare a storage class okay so now we need to look into those four features for register storage class variable okay so first one is storage where is the memory allocated or where is the storage location allocated for this variable cpu registers okay that means the storage for uh, this register variable would be inside the cpu registers then default initial value is same as auto garbage value then scope local to the block in which the variable is defined within the block you can access that variable register storage class variable then lifetime of the variable till the control remains within the block in which the variable is defined okay so these two are same as automatic storage class these three only the change is in storage for automatic variable the storage is in main memory for register variable storage is in cpu registers then what is the keyword used to define register storage class the register and this should be written in a lower case since this is a keyword we must write this in a lower case register storage class so how a variable can be defined using this storage class in program c programming how it can be used we'll see see i have written a simple program using this register storage class so i have a variable i of int type integer type whose storage class is register storage class this is the declaration for this variable register give a space then declare the data type then space variable name what happens when this variable is declared then the memory for this uh, i is allocated like this okay so since i have not initialized here what is the value present in this location garbage value will present in this location okay so then control comes to this for loop i is equals to 1 okay so when i say i is equals to 1 then the value 1 would be stored inside this a memory location one will be stored here okay so then it checks the condition one less than 5 true okay so then execute this printf statement so on the output uh, screen you can see one printed then control goes to this uh, increment section i plus plus okay so then i becomes a two now so inside the storage of i the value of i now contains the number 2 okay so then checks the condition here okay so control goes to condition testing section here so 2 less than 5 true so again enters the loop since there is only one statement then it execute this printf statement so printf percentage d i so this time what is the current value of i 2 so 2 will be printed on the screen okay so then again goes to this uh, increment uh, section i plus plus okay so this time i contains uh, the value 3 so 3 less than checks the condition 3 less than 5 true so then again prints the i value what is the current value of i 3 3 will be printed on the output okay so then again goes to increment section i plus plus i becomes uh, now this time 4 okay so i value 
becomes a 4 here sets the condition 4 less than 5 executes printf so 4 you can see on the output 4 would be printf okay so then again goes back to increment section okay so this loop repeats until the condition becomes false here okay so the current value of i is 4 here so then goes to i plus plus increment section i value now becomes a 5 i value now becomes a 5 now i contains uh, the value 5 here so 5 less than 5 false then comes out from the loop okay so the control directly comes out from the loop comes here there is no statement here then goes to this end of the program okay so then your program ends here then on the output screen you can see 1 2 3 4 printed this is how the register storage class uh, variable can be declared here so you can ask a question why this i is declared with this uh, register storage class why not auto okay so that means we need to know where we should use this uh, register storage class for which type of variables we should use this uh, register storage class okay so that means the variables which are more frequently accessed the variables which are more frequently accessed they can be declared by using this register storage class okay so what are the variables more frequently that means immediately after one instruction immediately it is accessed again again and again it is accessed okay so those are nothing but the variables that are used in inside a loop loop control variables we call them as a loop control variables so since i is a loop control variable i is accessed more frequently here okay so that's why i declare this i using this uh, register storage class what happens when we declare with the register storage class that means this memory whatever memory allocated for this uh, this will be allocated in cpu registers the memory for this i is allocated in a cpu registers then what is the advantage of uh, locating the memory in cpu registers okay so if you know memory hierarchy accessing of a data inside the cpu registers will be faster than accessing the data present in a main memory that means the processor first looks into cpu registers if the value is available then directly it accesses the value from the cpu registers otherwise it goes to main memory again from main memory it brings to cpu registers okay so this is what happens assume this is uh, some register a here okay and this is the main memory this is main memory right so this is register a say i write it as a say register a just in short i am writing r e g so assume this memory is nothing but in this uh, register a it is allocated i value is allocated in a register there are different uh, uh, registers and these registers are very limited okay then after executing this statement okay so i plus plus i value increments okay so here more frequently this i value is accessed so it checks immediately whether this i is present in this uh, available in this register or not okay so if it is available then your microprocessor access from this register then accessing a, for your microprocessor the values from the cpu registers takes less time okay so if here it is not available then only it goes to main memory okay so again from main memory what is happening here the value again 
will be brought into CPU registers. Okay, so this takes a little time. This takes writing again back into CPU registers and reading from CPU registers take a little time. So, okay, so that's why the access timer of a variable in main memory is more compared to CPU registers. That is the advantage of declaring a variable storage class as a register storage class. Then can we say that the memory is allocated in one of the CPU registers for this variable i? There is no guarantee. We cannot uh, uh, say compulsorily that the memory or storage for this i is allocated in CPU registers because CPU registers are very limited and most of the registers are used by operating system. Okay, so most of the time they are occupied. If any register is available, then, then that register can be used or the operating system allocates storage for this I in that register. And there are only general purpose registers, very little, very few general purpose registers. And we need to use only those general purpose registers for storing uh, this I value. Okay, so that's why we cannot guarantee that the memory for this I will be allocated in a CPU registers, even though we used st register storage class. Clear? Thank you all. Subscribe to my channel and click on the like button. Thank you.